Let's tell you about Heinrich's triangle. Heinrich was a safety expert who discovered that near misses are not as insignificant as they may seem. It's just that very few people ever bother to report them. Think about it this way. If you were walking along at work and something pretty weighty fell from above but didn't hit you, luckily, that's a near miss. A fraction of a second later and it would have hit your foot. Not too serious. Maybe a badly throbbing toe for a day or two. A reasonably minor injury. Another fraction of a second later and you'd be starting to run out of luck. It might hit your shoulder and cause you a serious injury, putting you out of work for some time. And if you're really unlucky, a further fraction of a second later, you'd probably be dead. Think about those near misses. Just because the falling object misses you doesn't mean that everything's okay. It means that there's a serious safety hazard and somebody needs to do something about it fast. It's probably only a question of time before somebody's luck runs out and they're seriously injured. Heinrich showed that the number of near misses is a very good indicator of the overall safety of a particular place of work. If you can reduce the number of near misses, you'll also reduce the likelihood of minor and serious injuries and fatalities, increasing the overall level of office safety. That's why you need to take note of near misses, because every near miss increases the risk of a serious accident happening. Later on, I'm going to set you a personal challenge to see if you can recall five near misses in your office and share them with your colleagues and boss or the person in charge of office safety. Now, let's take a look at some of the major office hazards and see if we can make your office a safer place by turning near misses into non-events. Looking at the overall figures for injuries, by far the greatest cause, nearly 40%, is slips and trips. Losing your balance on a slippery or uneven surface or tripping over an obstruction are the prime suspects. So, if you see a spillage, a trailing cable or something else blocking a passageway, don't just step over it or go around it. The person behind you could end up on the deck. Get it moved. Are the floors in your office uneven or is the carpet ripped? Ask someone to fix them nicely. Almost 20% of injuries result from handling and lifting, and we'll look at the correct way to lift things in a minute. Fifteen percent of injuries are caused by falls from a height. The top platform of a ladder is not a step, but a place to put tools. Some people don't even bother with a ladder and use what must be the daftest thing to stand on. You guessed it, a swivel chair. Falling downstairs doesn't only happen in the movies, it happens in offices too. And the consequences can be very serious, with people suffering fractures and internal injuries. In one recent case, a woman slipped on some steps and struck her head, suffering a fatal brain injury. Another fatality occurred when a man fell from a third floor window when he lost his balance trying to unjam it. Fatalities are thankfully extremely rare but they confirm that we shouldn't be complacent about safety in our offices. Beware the swing or revolving door. No one has really worked out the etiquette for getting two people through a swing door gracefully. What usually happens is that someone holds the door open, but not for quite long enough to allow you to actually get through it. Ouch. It's probably better to let everyone fend for themselves. And you don't need to wait to get on an aeroplane to have something fall on you from an overhead locker. You can experience it in the comfort of your own office. Objects falling from shelves or cupboards can cause serious head injuries. So if you're retrieving something from a height, make sure that no one is underneath. If you work in an office that is part of a factory or industrial unit, then the chances of exposure to hazardous substances, such as paints, solvents, gases or glues is obviously higher, but don't underestimate the dangers that may lurk in the cleaning cupboard. If people prepare food on the premises, make sure that it's properly cleaned away, because any scraps will attract pests such as rodents as well as microorganisms. 
So, that's a pretty comprehensive list of the possible safety hazards in your office. And I hope, like me, you can appreciate that the subject of office safety is one that we all need to take more seriously.